Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravindra Changar here, your electrical faculty and in this video, I am going to talk about the numerical number 2 that is actually based on the current in the DC link. So, we will start with reading of this numerical and this numerical is actually saying that in the HVDC link, okay, so we have given the HVDC link which is actually delivering the DC power with the AC line. So, with the voltage to the rectifier and being 400. So, if we talk about the voltage value and that voltage value is 400 kilovolt and that at the inverter being is the 392. I hope you have understood up to this that the rectifier side voltage is 400 kilovolt and the inverter side voltage is 392 kilovolt. It is also saying that you have to take the alpha is equal to 10 degree and the gamma is equal to that is the extinction angle which is given as the 15 degree. So also that the DC resistance of the line. So DC resistance of the line is actually given as the 20 ohm. So what is, uh, is saying for the calculations? It is saying uh, calculate the DC voltage at both the ends. You, so you have to calculate the DC voltages at the both the ends. At both ends, it means rectify side as well as also on the inverter side. Now, second is saying the current in the DC link. So after finding all these values, we, you can easily find the current in the DC link. And after finding the current in the DC link, you can easily find the power delivered and the losses. So likewise, it is given here, and the, you have to solve these all the all these numericals, all these problems related with this. So if I if I talk about the solutions, then the solution is saying that uh, firstly it is saying that DC voltage has both ends. So firstly I will find the DC voltage on the rectify side. If I find the rectify side voltage, that is actually denoted by the VD no VDO1. What is it is denoting VDO1? That is the no load DC voltage at the rectify side. Okay, so it is actually the three root two VSL1 into pi upon pi so if i talk about 3 root 2 vsl1 upon pi and that we have already discussed about the uh, the relation okay so what we will do we will multiply 3 then root 2 and the 400 kilovolt because we are actually finding the values we are actually finding the values on the rectifier side so we will put the voltage of the rectifier that is a 400 kilovolt on this value then it will be 400 400 into 10 raised to power 3 up and it will be divided by pi so it will be after the calculation you will get see this is 1.35 what is written here actually it is a 3 root 2 upon pi value so after finding this value you will get the 1.35 and uh, put this value then you you are going to get the 540 kilovolt after the calculation you can check also so after the calculations it is going to you are going to get the 540 kilovolt now so if I talk about the VD naught, that is the VD naught is written here. So obviously you, you can uh, judge that it is on the rectify side you have denoted the VD over. Now you will denote the VD O2 and that VD O2 is actually going to be no load voltage, no load DC voltage at the inverter end. Okay guys, now you have to put 3 root 2 VSL1. So whatever the voltage was uh, related with, that is a 392 kilovolt. So you have to put 392 here and after finding the value you are going to get the 529 kilovolt. So on the rectify side you are going to get the 540 kilovolt and on the inverter end you are going to get the 4, 529 kilovolt. So there is a loss in the voltage. There is a you can say the drop in the voltage and that drop is actually due to the DC uh, load resistance and that is on the DC link. Okay, so we will move for other points. That is the current in the DC link. So what will be the current in the DC link? If I talk about the current in the DC link, so firstly we will talk about the VDO1, VD1. So what will be the VD1? That will be the VDO1 cos alpha. So whatever that VDO1 you have find, put the value here and then the, put the value cos alpha. Cos that is a cos 10 degree. That is the alpha value which is written here. That is a 10 degree. So you have to find, you have to put the value. Then you will get ultimately that is a VD1 that is on the rectify side voltage. Now this is the VD2. So VD2 same way, but VD0 here you will use cos gamma. 
not alpha you will uh, use a cos gamma as i have already told you that uh, in the rectifier you have to use alpha value and uh, in the inverter you have to use the beta and gamma maximum we are using the gamma and beta so that is the 529 put the value vd o2 and the cos 15 degree then you are going to get 5 511.00 kilowatt so this is the value you are going to get here so all these value you have found now you will go for the second point that is related to the current in the dc link that is actually the id so what is the current in the dc link that current in the dc link is going to be vd1 minus vd2 upon r so i can say the rectifier side voltage minus the your uh, inverter side voltage divided by resistance so that is the voltage drop between them so how can you find that so vd1 you have find from this the vd1 uh, that is a 531.8 kilovolt just put the value here now subtract from the inverter side voltage that is a 511.00 that is written here and it will be divided by resistance and you have the resistance what is that the 20 ohm resistance now you have to do just put the values and get the answer and after simplification and after getting the answer you are going to get 1040 ampere you are going to get 1040 ampere so up to here you have found the current also now if i talk about the dc power delivered to the inverter what will be the power will be delivered to the inverter so that will be 511.00 10 raised to power 3 that is the voltage value so if if you are if you are going to uh, going to find the power on the inverter side then you have to use the voltage on the inverter side and the current is same for the inverter and the uh, you can say the rectifier that is actually flowing between them and that is what 1040 ampere and after putting this value you are going to get 531.44 megawatt okay so that you have to uh, that you are going to get here if I talk about the losses in the DC link, it is uh, very simple. Every time uh, loss come in uh, every co in any quotient, then you have to put the two into one zero four zero two, and that twenty you will multiply. So this is two is uh, actually the link uh, due to the bi bi uh, bipolar links actually. So we have to consider bipolar links every time, and then you have to put one zero four zero whole square, and this is the twenty that is the resistance. And when you will put the, this value, then you are going to get 43.33 megawatt. So this is the losses in the DC. So I hope uh, you have understood the numerical number two. That is the current in the DC. So Tata, bye-bye and thank you. We will see you in next lecture.